Hi, I'm Kevin, and I'll be doing a demonstration of the Quick Call feature, which will be released in the iTest 4.0. This video is for using Quick Calls. If you'd like to know more about creating Quick Calls, you should view the video on that. Now, you'll see I've already defined a Quick Call library, and I've defined an initialization Quick Call that I call Login. I'll get to that in a second. But if I start the session, the first thing that you'll notice is without me typing anything, it logs into the device for me. And on the right side, what's actually captured is this login procedure, which gives me this nice message saying, hey, I've logged in successfully, along with typing in the username and password. This procedure could be as complex or as simple as you want it to be. Of course, for mine, it was incredibly simple. For yours, it may be something like recursing down some directory structure until you find a file and then starting in the directory where that file is, maybe creating or copying files. It can be anything that you can do in a normal eye test procedure. Now, once I have this session open, I can do anything I normally would. I could do an ls, I could pipe the result of the ls in and look for everything that contains the word foo in it. But in addition, I have some extra things that I've defined in my quick call library. And so, if we look at this, if I just click on this button instead, it'll show me the whole list along with a handy dialog. So it gives me the procedure description, which I've defined there. And so let's say I want to look for... So this argument is apparently what I'm looking for in the result of the ls. So let's make sure we have some file called a.txt there. If I hit OK, you'll see it'll do the do on the right side. We're only getting the do ls captured. In the bottom here, we're actually getting execution issues from it. And you can see that after the ls, it found the a.txt right there. And it actually gives us positive feedback saying, hey, I got the a.txt. Now, you can keep doing this with all sorts of different ones. So if I were to do this test grep method, all right, let's say I want to look for everything that has foo. I tested it, and it gave me the output that I ran through all of them and made sure that they all contained foo, and all of these files do, in fact, contain foo, and it worked correctly. Now, I can close this session, and I can render it to a test case. And once it's a test case, you can see, oh, hey, these are actually showing up as left-hand commands. And in fact, if you go to the drop-down, we'll have your entire list of quick calls. You can even start typing in. It'll prompt you for help, exactly like it would if you were trying to do a procedure. And I hit you one too many times. You can get argument help for it. See, it'll tell you what value, what the arguments are. That would just be a.txt. So now I can run this test case and it'll run the test case. It'll log in. And it's replaying this entire sequence of actions. And it passed successfully because for the, we, all the things in our actions had the same rules. And you can see in the test report, you can see the actions that happen beneath there all the comments. And so really, quick calls are a really nice way to basically use procedure libraries, except instead of having to deal with it in the test case editor interface, you can do it in a capture replay sort of way. Thank you, and have a great day.